Good afternoon, viewers. <clears throat> Just thought I'd do a quick YouTube video on a new DC to D. Well, new. I haven't seen it before, and I haven't seen anything much on YouTube. Well, nothing came up that I saw. Anyway, it's a different type of DC to DC converter for running in your caravan. We'll charge, your, charge and maintain your battery properly from the Anderson plug on the vehicle through uh, to the caravan. And it will also provide a solar input with a multi-stage output. So either of those will charge and maintain your battery correctly, which a direct connection will not do and will deteriorate your battery uh, as, it, as it does not charge the battery properly. So anyway, there's plenty about that elsewhere. Let's have a look at the product. So this unit is a Battery Link Pro Series Caravan Charger, model DC-DC20S. It's a 20 amp uh, output which is quite adequate to, for doing 100 amp hour batteries and you know they're fairly typical in a lot of vans. Uh, the base has just got some mount brackets in it, um, which I don't think I've got here. Here's the unit here. Um, so on the front panel we've got a power on charging, fully charged solar charge indicator lights, AGM, lead acid, calcium selector indicator lights from when you select on the battery type selector over here which you do when you first start it up. Now it's not going at the moment, uh, it's all connected up but it's not going because uh, as with all of these units it operates by uh, the primary battery having a voltage greater than um, 12.5 so if your alternator output or vehicle battery drops below 12.5 this will switch off so you've got to have decent cables running between your tow vehicle and the caravan because it's quite a long run so, you know maybe 10 meters a cable should be using around 10 mil on your on your vehicle probably 10 mil millimeter square cable um, and then something similar on the through to the battery just so your voltage stays above 12.5 because this will pull your pull the voltage down once it starts. Up here I've got a power supply which I'm going to use in lieu of a tow vehicle so it's feeding, feeding input. I've currently got the battery at 11.88 volts. I'm using this electronic load to um, discharge it. Um, so it's currently drawing 10 amps. So 11.89 volts and I'll turn this on. I'll bring this voltage up so as you can see it's not going at the moment. I'll just bring this up to, sorry, down to say 13.8. As you can see, it starts very quickly. My projector takes a couple of minutes to start up and start charging. This thing's already doing it. And on here, the input's at 22 amps in to provide around 20 amps output. Battery voltage is um, coming up to 12.8, so it's very quickly pulling that battery voltage up. I'm just going to drop the electronic load off which will allow the battery voltage to uh, recover quickly so it's at 13.6 at the moment 13.8 and on here we can see the charging input is indicating um, that's that light comes on um, when it's the 12 volts from the from the tow vehicle if it was a solar input, it'd be the bottom light would be on down down the bottom here. This one would be on. That one wouldn't be on. When it reaches fully charged, obviously that light will come on. It's currently at 14.23, 14.23. So it's um and it's still charging at 23 amps. Um. Okay, my voltage meters stopped working there. So it's it's uh, bringing this voltage up, and it does pulse charge, as uh, as it shows you. So it's bringing that up quite quickly. Now the current starting to you'll see that's changing or switching. This isn't fast enough to see the whole thing, but what it's doing is this. It's um, pulse charging. So it's run up here, comes up to 14.4 holds that voltage for a while then it drops down to 13.8 ish or something around that to maintain the voltage 
once it's uh, fully charged. So you can still see it's pulsing here, but it's getting close to that point where it will, and this volt, this current is coming down as the charge state increases. So 14.3. You can see we've got AGM gel selected. As I say, that was I selected that over here. You can have a standard lead acid, which is a starting type battery, which you don't use for a caravan, obviously. And um, or you could have it in the later model calcium battery, which requires a higher output. So we're getting close to that point where it'll probably decide it's fully charged in a minute. Um, so that's it working. So just to have a look around the back here. Um, she's getting slightly warm that's all. On the back here we've got four terminals. We've got the DC input, we've got a solar input, we've got a common ground or negative input and we've got a charger output terminal. Screw terminals look they're fine probably makes it nice and simple to install actually. A projector has a whole bunch of 8 mil cable coming or 6 or 8 mil cable coming out which is uh, a little bit complicated. You're going to have to put Anderson plugs or something on it to um, to terminate it. These are fine, I've seen these on power supplies in caravans and they're five, six, ten years and they haven't budged so you can do them up with a spanner as you can see. Um, this is bracket kit, I'll have a look. So here's your brackets you get with it. It's just um, mouth just for mounting it over the top. You put the screws into this, the mount holes are in the bottom, so that would um, sit on that like that, and you'd have your two mount brackets which you would screw down. So it's sort of spaced off the floor for when it gets warm. That's the way that works. Um, comparatively, look it's, I just think it does quite a good job compared to probably what the, the projector is offering. A very good plain English uh, manual, not written in Chinese English or Chinglish. It's written in, there you go, it's fully charged now, it's just came up. It's reached us and it will now just continue to maintain, um, it, when it gets down to 12.82, it will switch on again, bring it up and then it'll switch off. So it'll sit around that 13.6. Um, the projector tends to continuously maintain at one voltage, um, so a little bit more sophisticated, I suppose, from that perspective. But um, as I say, this unit, $179, a projector will set you back to another $100 dearer than that. It's 30% more expensive. This is more than adequate for a 100 amp hour battery or something of that order. In fact, you don't want to be charging. A 100 amp hour battery probably faster than about 20 amps per hour. Anyway, that's uh, that's it. Here's the mounting arrangement, as you can see there. So quite a good little book, good little unit. Does what it says it does. I've had the solar on, I've had this on, and uh, all works well. Thanks for watching.